Hi everyone, you with Crochet with Greta and today I'm gonna make this very cute robin applique. Let's begin. I'm going to use three colors of 100% cotton, red, yellow and brown. You can use uh, any colors uh, you like. I'm going to use 2.5 millimeters hook, scissors, 6 millimeter eyes, and yarn needle. I'm going to use hot gun glue and I'm going to use this drink. I'm going to put you on the top. So we are ready to begin with tutorial. I'm ready to begin with uh, my round one and I'm going to use brown color first and I'm starting with magic ring. For all of you who find hard to make magic ring you can chain two and from the second change from the hook you can do six single crochet and this is my magic ring this is my magic ring and i'll show you another way as well and this we chain two and from second chain from the hook this is the first chain and this is the second chain we are going to do here six single crochet I like to use magic ring I did my magic ring and now I'm going to do six single crochet into my magic ring one two three four This is my round one. Ready to move on round two. Round two is increase in each stitch. End of this round, we're going to have 12 stitches and we're going to repeat six times. And this is my first increase. Ready to move on my second increase. Increase is two single crochet into the same stitch. This is my third increase. This is my fourth, fifth, and last increase and I'm ready with my um, second round I'm moving on round three and I'm going to do single crochet increase and I'm going to repeat six times and of this round I'm going to have 18 stitches single crochet in the first stitch and increase in the second stitch single crochet in the third stitch and increase in the fourth and I'm going to repeat this 
four more times and the ends of this round I'm going to have 18 stitches I'm ready with my third round. I'm going to move in round four. In round four is two single crochet increase. I'm going to repeat six times and end of the round four. I'm going to have 24 stitches around. I'm starting with single crochet on the first stitch single crochet in a second stitch and increase in my third stitch and I'm going to repeat this five more times and so each round you can use stitch mark which I forgot to do I will do for my next round and single crochet single crochet increase single crochet, single crochet, increase single crochet, single crochet, increase and one more time single crochet, single crochet, increase and this is my last time doing this this is round four I'm going to cut a little bit of uh, yellow wool I'm going to place it just right here that I am when I finished my round four and I'm ready to move on round five round five I have Three single crochet increase I'm going to repeat this six times and end of this round I'm going to have 30 stitches and this one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and a fourth stitch I'm going to do increase going to repeat this five more times one two three increase one two three increase one two Increase one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, increase, and one more time. One, two, three, increase. And ready to move on round six. I'm going to place my uh, stitch marker and round six I have four single crochet increase I'm going to repeat six times and end of this round I'm going to have 36 stitches around we have four single crochet this is my four single crochet and I have increase in my fifth stitch I'm going to repeat this five more times we have one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet and increase in the fifth stitch we repeating again
my last increase for this round and I'm ready with my round 6 we're going to move on the round 7 and round 7 is our last round for this part and for the round 7 I have 5 single crochet increase in a 6 stitch and I'm going to repeat 6 times and end of this round I'm going to have 42 stitches we start in 1 single crochet 2 single crochet 3 4 5 and in the 6 stitch we're going to do increase I'm going to repeat this five more times. And again, two, three, four, five, increase. and I have two more times and I'm going to uh, finish with this part two, three, four, five and increase and last time one, two, three, four, five increase in my last stitch and I'm happy to say that I'm ready with this part of my um, cute robin now I'm going to do a slip stitch to the next stitch and I'm going to pull the yarn over and this is my um, this is my brown part of this uh, body and I'm ready to move on my second part, the red, red belly. We're going to do his belly now and we're going to use red. And I'm ready to start with red. And again, magic ring. If you, if you find hard to do magic ring, it's another way with chain two. This is my magic ring. Now I'm going to do six single crochet into my magic ring. And then to this round, I'm going to have six stitches. Two, three, four, five, and my last one. I'm tidying my magic ring. I'm ready to move on round two. Round two is increase in each stitch. End of this round, I'm going to have 12 stitches. Uh, you can, I can use my um, yellow again. And this is my first increase I'm going to move on my second increase that's my third increase and three more left three more increases left my fourth and the six that's what we're doing now is we repeat in rounds one two three and four from our brown parts we're going to do this with red and only for four rounds this is a second we ready to uh, move on the third round round three is single crochet 
increase we're going to repeat to the end six times and we're going to have 18 stitches in total single crochet increase single crochet increase single crochet increase Single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, and last one is single crochet, increase. This is round three we have 18 stitches around we moving on round four which is our last round for his red belly and now we are going to do two single crochet increase we're going to repeat six times and then do this round we're going to have 24 stitches one two and increase One single crochet, two single crochet, and increase. One single crochet, two single crochet, increase. I'm going to repeat this three more times. Increase. Crochet, single crochet. Increase and one more time single crochet, single crochet, increase. I'm going to do a slip stitch to my next stitch. And this is my um of my cute robin and we are ready to move for the next part I'm going to hide the yarns first just somewhere in his bank I cut it off We are ready to move on the fun part, to put all the parts together and to make it to look so cute Robin. And for that I need to cut the, the back of my eye and I'm going to use just this part and as you need to be really careful I'm taking my scissors and I'm going right here and I'm cutting and I'm going to use just the head of my eye I'm going to glue it to my uh, robin and like if you can see I'm going to do it I'm 
going to show you how I'm going to put the belly. When you place your belly into the body, I'm going to have three rounds here on, I can see on the top. One, two, three. Here's where our eyes gonna go. And one round below our belly. If you can't see this, we have one, two, three, three rounds. And here we have one round. And this is how I'm placing it. Remember, just when you're placing it, and you're gonna have three rounds that you can see on the top, and one round that can you see in the bottom. And with my hot glue, I'm going to uh, do a circle just in the middle of my belly. And don't put too much because we, we don't want uh, to come out to come out when we are placing it to come out from my uh, back sides. So for now, I'm just going to hold a little bit and remember we want this to be free. And later, later we're going to add some more glue to, to this part. And this is my belly ready and you can see at the back you can see any glue coming out. That's why I don't put too much but I keep pressing hard for a few seconds until make sure it's all uh, glue and can try it. yes doesn't come enough so that's good and now we need to really careful with these teeny tiny eyes we don't want glue our fingers and I'm going to put just a little glue dots in my eyes and I'm going to place just if you can see, um, this is our uh, four stitches and I'm going to place here where we have done an increase. In my next I'm going to place here on the, our other increase. And you need to have between them two or three stitches. Now moving on my other eye. I'm really careful. Um, I used to burn myself a lot. But the practice makes it perfect. And now I'm going to uh, glue it on here. And yeah, this has happened, so I'm going to just take off the glue. And this is uh, our eyes, and we're going to do his peak, little peak, and little legs. So we're going to need yellow for that. And just to make sure my eyes is all stick properly. Yes, there are. Now I'm going to do his peak just in the middle of his eye. So my middle is just right here. And I'm going to uh, stitch it from my back. And I'm going to do just one round. You see, this is our last round four. So I'm going to do right here. And I 
I'm going to uh, go around like a few times. is our pick and we are ready to um to cut the yarn so i'm going to hide my yarn and i'm going to uh, place a part here See, I put my puff yarns just in inside here. That's why I didn't uh, put glue all the way around. Otherwise, I won't be able to do that because I want it. I want to hide my yarn in here, and after that, I will glue it. And we're going to have in the packages a little bit of yellow. And now I'm going to uh, do a tie. I'm going to put the yarn I'm ready to move on my tiny legs that are going to make them as a V shape and I'm going to place them on my last, uh, last rounds for you and I'm just going to uh, see where the eye is and I'm going to uh, place it just right here you can see and I'm going to make my V shape and I'm going to move on my another side make another V shape and start from uh, here just as you can uh, follow your eyes you see where to put the next so uh, my um, second leg now I'm going to uh, tie them both Now I'm ready to glue 
all the way around which I haven't and again remember not put too much hot glue because we don't want to come out from our back sides if you, you don't have a hot glue you can just sew uh, the body around in the back you're gonna have some red stitches and that's why I'm using a hot glue so I don't I'm not going to have a very messy pack. And I'm holding it, so I make sure it just stick together. And I'm happy to say this is my baby Robin ready to make these wings wings uh, we can just like pull pull the sides so we can uh, can look like a little wings and ready for my very last parts I'm going to uh, just put the string on. You see in the middle is just right here. I'm gonna pull my hook and I'm just going to drag this. And this is how we're going to uh, finish our Robin, if you're going to use as a Christmas uh, gift tag or Christmas a tree decoration. And here we go. <laughs> it's ready. And this is the end of our Robin applique i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments if you like me to do any more christmas characters please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching guys see you next time bye